Combined Endeavor is a C4 interoperability exercise at its heart. It's uh, also an engagement opportunity to, to bring together nations uh, to test the, the technical interoperability of command and control systems and communication systems. It allows us to, to build the networks that we would actually use to fight in a, a coalition type environment. This year at Combined Endeavor, we have over 1,200 participants from 40 nations and organizations participating at Grafenvier, Germany. We also have about 100 participants from five nations participating in Constanza, Romania. As you might expect, arrival at the Combined Endeavor site is, uh, is, is a heavy logistical process, right? We've got 1,200 people that we've got to end process, as well as all their communications equipment. Um, so there's, uh, we, we talk about the flight deck on the uh, aircraft carriers being sort of controlled chaos. Uh, well, we have the same sort of thing happening out, out here uh, at, on a slightly smaller scale. So we, you're going to see a lot of unloading of, of trucks. You're going to see personnel hooking up different equipment to their, their sat dishes, to servers, to routers. Uh, there are forklifts moving around uh, with containers. Uh, we have tactical vehicles that the uh, countries use to bring their, their transportable communications gear. But at the same time, you have personnel that are going through the mare cell, getting their in briefs, getting an understanding of the base itself, the layout, what they can and can't do on the post. Um, and in fact, the, uh, the Polish, who are providing this year's core network um, have got an entire sort of bivouac set up uh, with all of their multiple pieces of, uh, of gear that they've got. Uh, it's, it's, it's an impressive sight. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments the official party will arrive for this afternoon's opening quarters. Thank you. Present halt! Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Daniel Matchett. Welcome to the Combined Endeavor 2010 exercise. As we begin testing this week, we must keep in mind the real goal of this exercise, to ensure that communication systems, command and control systems, and our signal forces are ready to support coalition operations, and they are integrated with those of our multinational partners. With each test we perform, and with each relationship we foster this week, we are one step closer to a truly interoperable world. We have to test because every country has its own equipment, has uh, own systems and uh, very often those systems are not able to talk to each other. Combined Endeavor started primarily as a radio path communications check and then it evolved to satellite communications and it's further evolved into bringing in command and control systems that we're testing today. You, you can't uh, train while there is uh, rounds coming in and the, the bombs are going off. The, the work that we do here on Combined Endeavour and the lessons we learn are invaluable. So here in Grafenbeer, in a closed network, we're in uh, more or less a sandbox where we can test systems to, to the extremes until they break um, and then take it apart, analyze it and figure out what broke and then get it fixed. We are here to build new networks socially but also a federation of networks to make sure that our nation and other nations can work together in future operations. It's absolutely critical when you're talking about uh, communication systems that you not only do the short communications we're able to tie in directly to those countries, but to go over and test the transmission equipment and the long-range radio capabilities. Phoenix Endeavor is here focusing on spectrum management and Cyber Endeavor is here focusing on cyber warfare. This year we have a special opportunity to welcome two observer nations, Afghanistan and Iraq. This year we came here uh, as an observer for the Combined Endeavor exercise. Next year we will take uh, directly part in, in, in this exercise. Uh, I think at the moment the humanitarian ability is very important because uh, to find uh, 40 different countries to uh, work together in order to build bridges is uh, the most, Im most important thing that we can reach. The human-to-human the -human contact of Combined Endeavor is an equally important uh, aspect of what we do. We do special things like um, a nation may decide to host a dinner and, and bring some of their national foods. The nations are very friendly with each other. It's very nice to see that uh, every, everybody is very friendly and we can speak with each other from anything, from anywhere. 
So, so it's very nice. Ambassador, I'd like to welcome you uh, officially to Combined Endeavor. What you see before you is the assembled uh, delegation chiefs for all the nations uh, participating in Combined Endeavor this year. With that, ma'am, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you so much. This is uh, the largest exercise of its kind anywhere, and it's really important for us to have an opportunity to share ideas and ways of communicating. It's all about interoperability among the nations uh, that are present here. Technology is, is universal, right? It's, it's, uh, it's everybody's friend. So uh, as people come together to, to learn how to solve technical problems, uh, they're solving interpersonal problems or political problems at the same time.